Ooh, plush digs. Hey, textbook landing. Probably shouldn't be flying the drone out of a hotel window though. People next door were thinking I'm trying to sneak a peek. I think I need to get a tan. If my skin were a Dulux paint color, it would be recently deceased white. All right, we're continuing the Epicurean expedition through Europe with Norway. For some reason, I just seem to have gone west through each of the Scandinavian countries. Either way, I'm looking forward to tucking into some traditional Norwegian grub. Yeah. Ah, it's an American themed diner. Who'd have thunk it? Maybe I'll get some Norwegian food back at the hotel. I'm, uh, I'm here for the burger challenge. Yes, it's yeah? me, I've been texting I was, spe I was speaking yes. to you. Yes. Nice to meet I'm, you, man. I'm Daniel. It's, uh, now it's actually um, autumn break in Norway, yeah. so. So uh, it's a little more quiet than usual because yeah, yeah. people are traveling into the cabins and uh, do other I get stuff. It. I get so it, yeah. it's actually perfect for you for then you can yeah, have perfect. free roaming. Perfect, yeah. yeah. If I lose, then it's not too embarrassing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody to see me. All right, this is what we're doing today. The ultimate groovy burger challenge. I don't know what that says beneath the title because I don't speak Norwegian, but uh, probably something to do with burgers. Okay. All right, apparently this is the guy that did it the quickest. Not sure how quick he did it. <laughs> it's okay, you can, you can walk past. <laughs> Has he got a criminal record, that guy? I think it's gonna stand up. <laughs> no. Normally this is the point at which it falls over. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll prop it up with the chips, I mean the fries, it'll be fine. Right, so I'm at a place called Groovy Diner in Tonsberg. Am I saying that right? Are you sure? I don't know how to say that. You know the, the, the Norwegian O with the thing through it? Yeah. It's Ure. Tunsberg. Tunsberg. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Loads of people have tried it. I've seen all the pictures online. Do you know what the quickest time was? 20 minutes. He was a Norwegian guy, right? Yeah. I feel a little bit bad. If I, if I break his record, now I'm going to feel bad. How much does it cost? Uh, 6.99. 6.99. If you finish it in one hour, it's free. Yeah. yeah? How many burger patties are in there? It's 10 burger patties, yeah. some chips, and a milkshake. Is this is cappuccino? Yeah. You said cappuccino was the best, right? Yeah. I do like coffee. I've had quite a lot of coffee today, though. Probably be a bit jittery by the end of it, but um, let's get underway. Three, two, one. I'm quite glad that I took ages to start because it's still really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Lovely jubbly. That's not a turn of phrase I'd normally use, but I always feel the need to act slightly more English than normal whenever I'm outside England. Don't know why. Anyway, what's up, man? We welcome back to another episode. We're in Norway today, in Tunsberg. Ooh, Ooh still really hot. Yeah, that's generally a sign of food with high fat content. Although, in this case, that probably goes without saying. Also means the burgers taste good and are fairly easy to eat. I'm trying to eat this as cleanly as I can. I don't want to give a bad account of English people. <laughs> yeah, I think that boat sailed a few years back, old boy. Still, look how tidy I'm eating here. I'm eating this thing with almost surgical precision. Not a scrap of debris in sight. And even my water looks pretty clean. Look at that. I don't know what came over me. Yeah, I don't know why that made me giggle quite so much. I think it must have been a turn of phrase. But yeah, you get a very generous 60 minutes in which to finish this thing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Are those white white? Have you seen the videos? Huh? You seen the videos? I haven't seen the videos. No? All right, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. Um, it's not long. And he has still been using like four and a half minutes. Oh, <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> You're almost finished. Oh, you no. do this excellent. <laughs> oh my god, this is a free meal, man. <laughs> He was so excited, I was sure that you'd seen my videos. <laughs> Steady. I did, well, maybe, I don't know. Norwegians probably have better things to do with their time. But he did seem very excited to have encountered somebody midway through the challenge. In case you're wondering, it cost 699 Norwegian crowns, which I think is about 50 quid, or approximately $70-ish. If you fish it in the hour, you get the meal free and a little certificate thingy, but no t-shirt, sadly. Are you sure you get one hour to do this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? We're not all like this, believe me. <laughs> the, the bottom one is juicy. Yeah, admittedly, this isn't the toughest challenge I've ever done, but it's all about the adventure if you ask me. Hopefully it'll be another international cap for the collection too. Figuratively speaking, of course, you don't get an actual cap. That's just footy lingo. <laughs> ah, you goofball. Still clearly got plenty of time left to take some pictures though. Just the chips and the shake to go now. How long have I been going, do you know? Been using nine minutes. Nine minutes. And five seconds. <laughs> and five seconds. Crucially. <laughs> but the record was 20 minutes, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get that out of the shot because that looks a bit disgusting. I'm sure this was the best, right? No pressure. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right, just the chips now, or fries. Yeah, surprisingly, they don't just bang loads of them on there. I'd call this a regular portion, maybe like a large from McDonald's or something. I'm so sorry. So you had to see this. <laughs> Do I have milkshake all over my moustache? Yeah. Yeah, give the old push broom a wipe. And we're pretty much there. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you at the next one. Thank you. Sit here for 15 minutes, please. You have to sit here? Yeah. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes to make sure that you're not do it. You're going outside and like throwing up or something. Yeah. That's a cool rule. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, while I'm here for 15 minutes, do you have a dessert menu? <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of the chocolate cake. Yeah. Can I get a slice of chocolate cake? Yeah. Yeah? Of course. Thank you very much. Ah, this, and this goes on the wall of champions. Don't laugh, I have the handwriting of a small child. <laughs> Ooh, chucky cake. Looks scrumptious, thank you. And I'm allowed to eat this, I'm allowed to eat this during the 15 minute yeah. wait period. All right, cool. Looks kind of more like a brownie to me. <laughs> you guys just watching me eat the chocolate cake now. <laughs> I'm not gonna rush this. I'm going to eat this slowly, I promise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe I'll see you again one day. Hopefully. I'll come back and do it in 12 minutes. <laughs> Catch you next time. <laughs> I feel bad for the Norwegian guy, but the food challenges in Europe are quite easy. It's got to be said. Might even have enough room for a little bit of Norwegian scram back at the hotel. See, normally I would let out quite a, a substantial groan when getting back into the car, but uh, I feel like I could go for a jog now. Maybe not a jog, a brisk walk, let's say. I don't think I've stayed at many hotels more scenic than this one.
Yeah, that'll do. <clears throat> See if they got any spice at this place. That's what my dad used to call snacks. Even snacks that are not spicy. You know, they actually charge you like 18 quid a day to park here, even though you're already staying in the hotel room. I'll stop complaining, that's the inner Yorkshireman in me. To get to my room, I have to go through this weird old dining room thingy. Look at the size of this door. <laughs> All right, now, ordinarily, the episode would have finished by now, probably in some abrupt yet satisfying manner, but I've still got a bit of a rumbly in me tumbly, so I thought it might be a laugh to try out some traditional Norwegian grub, so I got some. Also, people often tell me that the video should be longer. They want to see the aftermath and whatnot. Truth be told, there's no real aftermath. It's just me sitting in a dark room, drinking loads of fluids. Right, so I got some deer balls, by which I mean meatballs made out of deer meat, not deer testicles. And I got some kind of salmon thingy with some red stuff and green stuff. Smells delicious though, it's got to be said. Ooh, it's a little tougher than I thought it would be. Ooh, that's delicious. The gravy's good too. The gravy's almost got a slightly bitter taste to it, but it's not unpleasant. I don't think there's gonna be anything particularly interesting about salmon, but uh, I don't know what this red stuff is, so. Definitely gonna try some of this. Ooh, that's kind of like a, like a beetroot jam. Mmm. -hmm. While I'm being self-indulgent with the video length for a change, I should take the opportunity to say thank you very much to everyone that has been watching lately, because I don't think I ever thought I'd get to the point where millions of people watch almost every episode. So thank you very much. It really does mean a lot to me. And um, the only way really I know to repay that kindness is to try and keep making videos. So I hope you join me for many more to come. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in a few days for the next one. I highly recommend deer balls if you ever get the chance to try them. The 15 minutes is yeah. done, yeah? yeah. Alright, I'm free to leave. <laughs>